We've got a wicked awesome 1967 Mustang Fastback. I've got so much to tell you about this car. It's all good stuff. This car was featured on the cover of Hemming's Muscle Machines. There's a great article, six page article, tells all about the car and its story. Gentleman I acquired it from bought this car in 2004. He's the uh, guy who had the car built. Uh, it was built at a very high end shop, not far from here. Um, it's just an awesome car. This is the real deal. This is set up to go to any road course uh, track and compete. It's built like that. It's also built to go cruise nights and get ice cream. Uh, our shop goes through every car. We put them on the lift. We test drive them. We inspect them. I pulled up that page in our system. There was nothing there. I called the mechanic and said, would you skip this car? He said it was incredible. He couldn't find anything wrong with it. That's, that's amazing. Uh, the car was born a genuine GT. It's an S code 390 car. It was born that way, proven by the Marty report. Uh, the gentleman that owns it is so particular. We even have this nice instruction sheet about what the toggle switch is for, what kind of oil to use, tips on how to drive it. Uh, so again, just everything uh, falls into place with this car. Uh, under the hood is a board and stroke 445 cubic inch dual quad motor making about 500 horsepower. It's got a Tremec 5 speed. Uh, it's got vintage air. It's got all trick suspension, big bare uh, brakes. I mean, this thing will do it all. You can go to volocars.com and that's where you can read the information. Take your time and look at about 100 photos top to bottom. That's also where you will find the price tag on every car we sell, along with the monthly finance option. They require as little as 10% down, and they'll go 12, 13 years on most cars. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. But for right now, buckle up. Let's go for a spin. Okay, so the underneath of this car, it's uh, born uh, out in California, lived out in the West Coast, lived in Texas, so it's a good, solid car. The frame rails, the floors, all that looks to be really nice, original metal. Now, the chassis and suspension is really uh, trick. It's dialed in. It's the good stuff. I'm going to read it off to us here. So up front, it's, it's all custom. It has a TCP tubular control arms, one and a quarter inch sway bar, rack and pinion, billet truss brace and export, export bar, coil over gas adjustable shocks, all the steering linkage, all that stuff looks custom. Um, connecting the front to the back are some big boxed uh, frame connectors. And in between that is a tubular uh, Shelby support system. So this car is going to be really tight. It's not going to be twisting and flexing. You go into the corners, it's going to hold tight. Uh, in back is a Heights Pro G four link system with coil over adjustable gas shocks, a one inch sway bar, a chrome control arms and pan hard bar. Uh, stopping it, it's bare racing brakes, 13 inch big discs in the front, drilled and slotted with the big bare calipers, 11 inch in back also drilled and slotted, uh, does have an e-brake system, that's all custom. <clears throat> three inch exhaust. Now to make a three inch exhaust go all the way out the back of a car, it's a little tricky because it's fat, you don't have a lot of room. Well, they did a nice job, this exhaust goes up, you know, through all that extra bracing, it goes over the rear end and all the way out the back of the car. It's a three inch exhaust system with stainless steel MagnaFlow mufflers, uh, which sounds great. And it also has a crossover pipe. It's an aeromotive stealth fuel tank with premium fittings and braided fuel lines. Bottom of the motor has an extra capacity finned aluminum oil pan. The more oil, the cooler the engine runs, cleaner it runs. Uh, it also has a high torque starter. It's a Tremec TKO five speed trans with an 11 inch uh, McLeod clutch. And I just hit the wrong button here. Hearst competition shifter. 
and backs a Ford 9-inch with Yukon 389 Posi gears. So you can look at the pictures on our site. You'll see everything I'm talking about. Uh, but it's a track-ready suspension. So now let's look at the body. Performance Restorations is the shop that built this car. They were building $200,000 cars years ago when that sounded like an absurd number. In today's times, 200 is nothing to build a car like this. But he does high-end cars. He's now retired, but that shop cranked out some really high-quality work. This car was painted a while ago, and it looks like it was painted yesterday. That's just how his, uh, his work is. So let's check it out. So they did say it was a clean, rust-free Fastback body style to begin with, and they gave it the Shelby treatment. So it is the fiberglass Shelby hood. It's straight. It fits real nice. This fender looks immaculate. This fender is absolutely straight. The car is laser beam straight. All metal fenders, clean, smooth, all the way down to the bottom. The gaps are completely flush. They're spot on. Shuts real nice, no dents, no dings, no bubbles, no funny body work. This is all real nice. Has the Shelby scoops. All the Shelby parts were bought at Tony uh, Branda Shelby parts. They, they sell the higher quality uh, pieces. Has the Shelby dovetail trunk lid with the uh, end caps. Again, all absolutely straight, no rust. It looks like this has that clear protective under here. I'm sure that's to uh, keep from rock chips from happening. All this fits really nice. It's all straight. All lines up beautifully. Absolutely, absolutely laser beam straight. Does have that clear uh, coat on here. It's a film that peels off, but there's no rock chips. All this is mint. There's a chip right here on the inside edge of the door. This is all like glass. This is just absolutely beautiful. He has the clear on both front fenders as well. Yeah, the paint is outstanding. If you crawl around it, that, that's the only chip, the only flaw I found. I'm sure there's another one or two little flaws here or there, but it is polished like glass. They chose to put some gold stripes on to be different right over the top. I love it. Actually, someone else just commented on how they really like the gold stripes. So up front, it has the Shelby inboard uh, lights, the grill. It's all you know, replaced. It has the scoop under here with the stripes painted on it. The stripes go right through the grill. Got some nice modern hood pins, modern headlights. Bumper was replaced. New windshield. All the stainless trim was replaced. You can see it has some nice tinted glass. The mirror, the door handle, all, all that stuff has been replaced. Got an antenna back here. Has the 67 Shelby sequential tail lights, so they blink across. I did try, uh, try them, they worked. Shelby emblem, the racing gas cap. The stripe goes all the way down the bottom of the car, into the jams, into the grill. They did a real nice job with that. Everything fits real nicely. So the wheels, they're 17 by 8. In front, 17 by 9 in back. Uh, they're wrapped in some performance tires that were put on in 2021, so they are uh, not even two years old. So there you have it. The outside of the car is just awesome. And look at our pictures. Look at the back end of the car, the tail lights, the fin, the wide tires, the exhaust underneath uh, from the back. I walked in here, and it's like, wow, that's sharp looking. Yeah, a lot more to show you. So let's look inside. All right, let's look inside the trunk. So under the trunk lid and the jam are painted real nice. Uh, inside the trunk compartment is completely solid. They laid a piece of carpet in here. It's not like custom fit. It's just kind of put in here. So you could do a little better job with lining the trunk. And then we got an amplifier and speakers. Uh, Optima battery with a billet hold down he has a big disconnect switch here. So when you park the car for any extended time, you just lift that lever and uh, shut her down. In his notes, there's also a kill button inside the car somewhere. You can hit the button. It also uh, disables uh, the electrical. So jams are still real nice. Weather strips were replaced. 
it was a deluxe interior, so it has the deluxe door panels with the stainless trim. Uh, the d lights work in the doors. So it has a custom tilt column. This is a genuine Shelby steering wheel. He kind of joked he didn't want to admit what he paid for this wheel. And all this is in real nice shape. It has a matching set of auto meter gauges. Um, the dash pad was replaced. It does have an upgraded stereo. This gauge cluster here with oil pressure and amps. This is also an original Shelby unit that he bought. I think this here is just a holder for like a cell phone. This was signed by Carol Shelby. We have kick panel speakers. You got real nice carpet and mats. Uh, Hearst Competition shifter with the Shelby ball. You got a nice little aftermarket console here. So the seats are real cool. They're the sport seats. They hold you in place. You got Shelby lap belts here, uh, headrests, and it's done in the original style material. So it matches the back seat. It looks like a Mustang seat uh, in its material, but you need these seats to hold you in place. Then it also has, like the original Shelby, retractable uh, shoulder belts that you can use if you're really hitting the road course. Now the back seat is the original style. Oh, I moved the seat back when I got in here. Fold down sports seat. It's all been reupholstered. There's seat belts, interior lights work, all the trim. Everything's real nice. Said so you got the roll bar, uh, new headliner, visors, a day and night mirror. Now this roll bar is welded into the car. It also helps that whole structure, keeps the body from twisting. So it's for safety and uh, again, it, it prevents better handling is what it helps with. I did notice a, one more touch up in the paint right here. Probably someone chipped it with the hood pin. But look at this. Uh, so it is a 390 motor. It's been bored and stroked. Uh, it has a scat crank in it, 11 to 1 compression, forged pistons, uh, special rods, hydraulic, hydraulic roller cam, roller rockers, Edelbrock aluminum heads. It's a Shelby intake with dual Edelbrock carbs. They look like they're the, the chrome plated uh, carbs. Uh, it has an MSD ignition system. The wires are run neatly. And I love the thinned Cobra valve covers and air cleaner. I've never seen them chrome plated like that before. That's awesome. You have more extra support brackets. This all helps prevent twist. Look at all the braided lines, the heater hoses and fittings, all of that. Up front, we got the uh, billet system with the billet brackets, serpentine belt, all the pulleys, mini polished AC compressor. You got stainless steel hose going to a big aluminum radiator, dual electric fans. Uh, this guy lived in Arizona. Uh, he shipped the car to us, so he ran it out in Arizona. It stays cool. You got, uh, this is the res uh, reservoir for the modern power steering. You got modern aluminum alternator, billet distributor, uh, Willwood master cylinder with power booster, power brakes, chrome hinges, under the hoods painted smooth and glossy. Got some extra chrome parts up front here, some chrome hardware. Uh, it does have Doug Thorley uh, headers on there. So yeah, a lot going on in here. Muscle car, crossover, sports car. A nice raspy sound from the MagnaFlow mufflers. Oh, it's very tempting to just go and not come back with this one.
So it says right here on the article, track-tested Mustang returns to the road. And when you read the story, uh, yeah, his friend uh, Brent Jarvis had owned uh, Performance Restorations. He was big into going into the track and racing cars. So this guy was hanging around him like, oh, my God, this is awesome. That's what gave him the itch to build a track car. And then uh, he did that, had his thrills, and then he decided, you know what? I want a cruiser. So the car was also built for that purpose. So it was on the track a few times. And then uh, from there on, it was used to go get ice cream. Awesome car. You're paying attention to these fastbacks. They're bringing as high as $550,000. They're online right now. I've seen them selling at auction. $250,000, $350,000, $400,000. This is a lot less than that. And I'm telling you, there's nothing to apologize for. This is one heck of a car. It's done right. You will have no regrets, uh, no surprises. The only surprise you'll have is, wow, this thing is everything they said it was going to be. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer questions. They can help you finance it. They'll get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.